Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's Wednesday's Reading the Red, this rainy morning, uh, rain that refreshes the ground. So Jesus continuing talking to us in Matthew 12, verse 44, about the unclean spirit who has been sent out from the man who has, as it were, vacated the body of a man. The unclean spirit has gone out. He's looked around for somewhere to take his rest, found nowhere, and so decides in 44 these words. Then it says, I will return to my house from which I came. And when it comes, it finds it unoccupied, swept and put in order. So it says, then it says, I will return to my house from which it came. So the very reality of the character of this unclean spirit, let's say a spirit of fear, has left the person or a spirit of lust has left the person and has come out of the person so that the person in effect has been delivered from this unclean spirit. And then this spirit leaves the man, the woman, and finds nowhere to take rest. So it decides to come back to where it came from. And when it comes back, it discovers that the man, the woman, all swept, all clean because they've been delivered from this unclean influence in their lives. The spirit comes back, but it finds it unoccupied. Now, this word unoccupied, what does it mean? It means that there's a vacuum, that there's nothing there. There's a sense of vacancy about the place that is come back to. And the reason why there's a vacancy is because nothing good or God is there where, that's replaced it when it left. So the fact that someone gets delivered from a spirit of fear is a great thing. It's a wonderful thing. But if the person doesn't fill that vacuum with God and the ways of God, then when that spirit seeks to come back to that person, it will find it unoccupied because God doesn't live there either and it will return. So spirits leave people, but they can come back if you don't fill it with God. So what does it mean to fill it with God? Well, it means that you allow the Holy Spirit to take charge, up, take up residence in that particular place where that spirit was. So where your life was driven by fear thoughts and your emotions were driven by fear feelings and your and your will acted out of those fears, that you learn in effect because you allow the Holy Spirit into that facet of your identity to teach you God's ways with regards to handling things that would have once use you to drive fear through your body so you learn to live a, a new way you learn to think a new way you learn to act in a new way because you've allowed God the Holy Spirit to take up residence in your spirit that once was occupied by an unclean spirit and so we need to make sure that when evil leaves our lives, we don't leave it vacant, but we allow the Holy Spirit to take up residence. Have a great day and we'll continue this tomorrow.